Hey guys, my name is Jay and in this video we're gonna have some fun because I'm gonna animate my WordPress website, okay? I'm using animate.css for this video. Thank you so much, Daniel, and the people that helped you creating this file for everybody. As you can see, we have a drop down here and you can click on different names and you can see the animation going on. Look at that. Super awesome. All right. Now, I want to add this animation to my website. Let's click on download right here, download animate.css. It's going to download a CSS file for you. And as you can see here, I'm in my themes file, my WordPress theme folder, and this is all my files. This is my my theme, I eat websites, and this is my child theme. This is the one that I'm going to use for this video. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to go to my CSS folder. As you can see, I already have my animate.css file. If you don't know what a child theme is or how to create it, click here, learn a little bit and come back. So now that I have my CSS right there, I need to add that CSS to my WordPress theme. So I'm going to go to my text editor right here and uh, I have all my files in here. So I need to go to my functions.php. All right. So I have these things right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this line right here. I'm just, oops, I'm going to paste just one there. All right. I'm going to change the name. It can be whatever you want, really. Let's say anime style. And in here, let's change it to animate.css. That's it. I'm going to save that. And now we have all these animations available for us. Right? So let's say that I want to animate this image. Uh, let's say bounce, bounce in. Let's see. And let's say bounce in down. All right, bounce in down. That's what I want. So bounce in down. So let's edit this page. I want to add that animation to that image right there. As you can see, I have here my content. I'm going to click here on text. And here, as you can see, we have my image with an ID of billboard. So I'm going to add a class. Okay. You need to add the class of animated. Super important. And then you need to add the name bounce in down or whatever animation you choose. Okay. So it's going to be bounce in down just like that. All right. Let's see how it looks. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was awesome, but super fast. Let's see it again. Yeah. Well, it's working, right? But it's super fast. So how we can control, you know, the animation duration. Well, I have an idea here of billboard. So that means that I have uh, an idea of billboard in my CSS file. So I'm going to go to my text editor. Uh, let's go to my custom CSS. Let's search for billboard. Here you are. I got some stuff here. All right. So in here, I'm going to add animation duration, right? We can add maybe something like five seconds. I know it's a lot, but I want to see that animation save. All right. Let's reload this page. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see it again. Wow. Super easy to do. It's already created. Animate.css have all these options, right? So now I want to do something else. On hover, I want to animate all these things on navigation and maybe the logo, whatever. I want to add 
and animation only on the hover state. Hmm, it's gonna get a little bit complicated, but I think you're gonna understand me. So I got a file, a uh, jQuery file here. It's a comment right now, but I'm gonna remove these things right here. All right, so this code is provided by the animate.css documentation. So you can go back here and click on a view on GitHub and they have a lot of more information that you can learn how to use it. You can learn how to code for it and stuff like that. Super fun, uh, super helpful. So go there, click here and go there. They have a ton of information. Don't worry, I'm gonna add all this link on the descriptions, okay? All right, let's go back to the text editor. And I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm not gonna go super deep on this code right here, but I'm gonna explain you what it's doing. So it's saying that I'm all the anchors, so all the links on my page, all the all these anchors, everything that you can click, right? everything I am adding on the hover state I am adding a class and then when the animation ends I'm gonna remove the class so as you can see I'm, I'm adding the animated class plus the wobble and let's see how that looks let's go to animate.css all right that's how it looks so I'm gonna save this and let's see how this works. All right, we have this cool animation and let's see. Whoa, yeah. I don't know about you, but I, I really like it. It's like fun. Let's see. Look at that, even, even, even the links on the, on the regular content have the animation. Let's go to the footer. Look at that. Super, super fun. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yep. Because, uh, you know, this admin bar is part of our page. So it's actually um, getting the animation too. Look at this craziness. It's like a party right now. Woo! I don't know about you, but this is fun. So we have all these options. Look, look at this list right there for us. So you can, we can use it. It doesn't have to be WordPress. You can use it in whatever you want, really. I'm gonna post uh, this code on the description so you can use it if you want to, but go to the GitHub page and they have a lot of more information there. But if you have questions, Comment below the video and I can answer you right there or send me an email if you want. If you want to keep learning, subscribe because I'm uploading one video every week. All right, so thank you for watching and have an awesome animated day. Bye.